Welcome back to SketchUp Hacks Everyone Must Know. Today, for the essential guide to turning your ideas into reality, we are covering episode 2. And guess what? Today, we'll be learning about the history of SketchUp and the vision behind the original creators. So at last software was founded in year 2000. After that, between 2006 to 2012, Google bought SketchUp. 2012 till now is the time whereby Trimbo owns SketchUp. Please subscribe to my channel by pressing the subscribe and bell notification. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can search for me at sketchit.fun. Everyone, I'm Samson. Thank you for visiting sketchit.fun. I made this SketchUp tutorial series to teach you how to turn your ideas into reality. SketchUp is a 3D modeling computer program with a wide range of applications. Applications include architectural design and interior design. It also includes landscape architecture or landscape design, as you can see here. It also includes civil engineering, mechanical engineering, film, and game design. So this is a pool, or what looks like a pool, or water body, and here is a boat. So SketchUp actually started out as a desktop app. It was developed by a startup called Atlas Software. The founders of SketchUp was Brett, Shill, and Joe Ish. I hope I'm pronouncing their names correctly, but they are the father of SketchUp. It debuted in two year 2000, and that was 12 years before I found out about it. So I found out about it in 2012. So actually, the vision of SketchUp was to create a software that would allow design professionals to draw the way they want by emulating the feel and freedom of working with a pen and paper. It was supposed to be user-friendly and easy to use. As you can see, here are some of the tools and functions in SketchUp like the tape measure, protractor, paint bucket, eraser, and line which is represented by a pencil. All these are tools that real life designers, architects will actually be using. If we continue to go along with this tutorial series, you'll see that it's actually quite easy to use. In 2006, Google acquired at last software and in 2007, Google SketchUp was formed. From 2006 to 2012, there was a lot of developmental work from Google on SketchUp. One of the development works includes Geolocation allows you to bring maps directly into your models. If you have the GPS coordinates, the model that you draw can be at the exact location. The next development from Google to SketchUp will be Dynamic Components. As you can see, there's a letterbox here. So you can actually interact with Dynamic Components. This is another great invention, great development from Google to SketchUp at that time. The next great input from Google to SketchUp will be the extension warehouse. You can think of the extension warehouse is like an Apple Store for Apple phones, Play Store for Androids, plugins for WordPress. Each extension in the extension warehouse will add a new capability to SketchUp. The next great input from Google to SketchUp will be the 3D warehouse. So as you can see, there's a Mercedes Benz here and a Ducati here. All these models were created by users of SketchUp. 3D Warehouse used to be called Google 3D Warehouse, but now it's just called 3D Warehouse. It's a place whereby SketchUp users will upload their 3D models into the 3D Warehouse. It's a place where you can share your resources. Then in 2012, SketchUp was bought by a company named Trimbo, which developed global satellite system receivers, laser range finders, drones. They are basically a map making high tech surveying company. And lastly, now in 2019, SketchUp is going to be integrated with virtual reality, augmented reality, and game design. So here you can see this is a SketchUp model, and this is what it will look like in this 
augmented reality or virtual reality. This would be the future of SketchUp. Alright, we've reached the end of episode 2. As you can see, SketchUp when it was created by Atlas Software. They had the vision to turn 3D design, interior design and architectural design into something whereby everyone can use. The pre-existing softwares at that before 2000, I've used them before, they were really really difficult to use. So SketchUp is actually a very good avenue for people that want to become creators to leverage on. So in the next episode, I'll be teaching you how to install SketchUp and which versions you should actually keep and all. Alright, thank you for staying. See you next time. Please subscribe to my channel by pressing the subscribe and bell notification. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can search for me at sketchit.fun.